What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new, hello, I'm Sincerely Nico. Definitely hit that subscribe button and join the EXO squad because it's lit on this side of YouTube. Last but not least, make sure you guys turn that post notification on if you guys want to be notified when I post new videos here on YouTube, which is every Tuesday and Friday. And last but not least, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Without further ado, you guys can see what the title is below. We're going to be doing my October Ipsy Glam Bag Review Slash Try On. You guys see this purple highlighter? You guys wondering how I got this purple highlighter? Keep on watching. Alright guys, so here is the Ipsy bag for this month. It is just a cute little red lace detail bag with black accents and ipsy across the front in black um, and red and it's just so pretty now today marks my one year anniversary where i started with ipsy if you guys want to watch that particular video definitely check the eye above and watch that video but you can clearly see the difference between last year's and this year's ipsy bag for october it's literally just a complete upgrade and I'm glad to be a part of the Ipsy reviewer family area on this YouTube community and I have all my base already and I'm just going to go ahead and jump on into this particular bag and see what I got. So I got a little card of course always. This month theme is called Spellbound. In the front it says in my defense. The moon was full and I was left unsupervised. So, it's time to be doing some bewitchery. So the first item in the bag is from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil in perversion. Here is the size of the liner that I received this month for Ipsy and it's a pretty decent good size. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this on my upper and lower lash line. Taking a low lotty smudger brush and smudging up that liner just to get the smoky lash line look. Grabbing a little bit of concealer to clean that up. So the next item in the glam bag is from First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Cream. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite moisturizers, especially during the winter. It is a colloidal oatmeal based moisturizer that just keeps the hydration on the skin. So if you guys are very dry, or just need some extra, extra, extra hydration. This is a good moisturizer to have. The next item that I received in the Ipsy Glam Bag is from Meech and Mia. It is a mineralized eyeshadow in the color purple. I'm excited to give this a go. So I'm going to take that same little Lottie brush. I'm just going to go ahead and tap the eyeshadow on. Really pretty. Then I'm gonna take a blending brush and kind of blend out the crease. So this is one of those pretty, pretty, pretty vampy but sultry eyeshadows, and I'm really, really, really loving this a lot. I really don't receive eyeshadows that much from Ipsy because sometimes it doesn't fit my aesthetics. But I'm happy that I did receive this one from Meech and Mia, and I will be using this in a future tutorial, and I will be placing this in my pigment acrylic case and yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next item from my ipsy glam bag all right so the next item out of my ipsy glam bag is a really thin one and this is from the brand shella it's a brow pencil Ooh, in the color elegant ebony let's go ahead and put on a little bit of brows i'm actually liking this brow pencil very precise 
So the bad part about this one is that it doesn't come with the spoolie, so that you're allowed to kind of rake through and make sure that the product is dispersed evenly. But if you are like me that has 130 eyeshadow brushes and tools, of course, just floating around here, then a spoolie by itself is nothing to gravitate towards. So this is a really pretty brow color. I'm definitely going to be using this in a future tutorial. The last item that I received in my Ipsy Glam bag is from Tarte. It is the Tarte Gift Did Lifted? Lifted. Lifted. <laughs> it's the Tarte Lifted Sweat Proof Mascara. So I'm going to hold off on this mascara. I'm not going to open it because it oxidizes it and I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to use this when I have the availability. But I know Tarte has some great and amazing mascaras. This is my favorite mascara, which is the Light Cameras Lashes Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. I'm actually going to go back in this picnic and do something fun and crazy. I'm going to take a little bit of that pigment on a fan brush. So pretty. You're not welcome here. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little mini review video of my Ipsy Glam bag for the month of October, the Spellbound bag. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys give this video a huge, big, 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 big thumbs up. All that would be greatly appreciated because it lets the place know that I am here and you guys recognize me. So definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And last but not least, turn on your post notification bell if you have not done so. Because I have an amazing video coming up real soon. And I want you guys to be there when it drops. So turn that post notification on and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace guys. One,